The eye of Henri made landfall near Westerly Rhode Island. Audrey Puente begins our coverage. Audrey. Well, yes, Lisa, that happened at about 12.15 when it made landfall, and the winds at that time were at about 60 miles per hour. And the current track is expected to move in a northwesterly direction here before taking a turn to the northeast, and it's going to hover across the northeastern states here, it looks like, right through Monday evening. So we're in store for a prolonged event with uh, periods of rain running through the area. We're already experiencing some flooding conditions due to heavy rain. Rainfall. The pockets of heavy rain are most specifically right around Connecticut. This wall of rain around the eye of Irene, or excuse me, eye of Henri, will be moving westward here into western Connecticut and moving into the Hudson Valley. We're also getting some heavy rainfall across Long Island. It's kind of pushed inland a little, a little bit from Suffolk County into Nassau County. You can see some heavy rainfall along Long Beach as well as Fire Island. That's been happening over the last hour or so. Same thing along I-80 across New Jersey. This is not moving anywhere. It's training, which means we see rainfall happening in the same areas for a long longer duration of time, so flooding will definitely be an issue here. Same thing out towards the eastern portions of Pennsylvania. Flood watch continues for the entire tri-state area. We do have flood warnings in the area shaded in green associated with those areas of heavy rain I just showed you. The tropical storm warning for New York City and northeast New Jersey has now been dropped. It's still continuing for parts of Connecticut as well as Long Island. Lisa, over to you. All right, thanks, Audrey. And this was a scene in Montauk earlier today. The rain coming down hard with high winds whipping through the area and lots of heavy heavy surf and a desperate plea from one homeowner who boarded up their house. The words go away Henri painted on the plywood and some flooding on the south shore of Long Island. These are photos today from Jones Beach that was flooding under the famous boardwalk. And in one of his final acts before stepping down, Governor Cuomo gave an update on how New York is preparing for the storm. He says he's very concerned about flooding and power outages because some areas could get hit with several inches of rain. You already have saturated ground, so the absorption capacity of the ground is limited. And that's what makes this level of rainfall especially uh, problematic. Let's head back to Long Island. Dana Arshin is live in Port Washington. And Dana, what are you seeing there? Lisa, well, I just took a quick drive around the area, and I went to some of the uh, flood-prone prone roads just to see what those look like. People in this area tell me that in the past they've been very flooded, um, and some of those roads along the water and along the dock, they looked clear, so that's a really good sign. But you've seen me here all morning, and the wind is definitely starting to pick up now this afternoon. The wind and the rain uh, continues to come down steadily. I'll also show you the tide line, which I've been showing you. So high tide was in the last hour of the line. I don't know if Carl can see my foot right around here. So you can see the water already starting to subside. Um, I'm also going to have my cameraman Carl go over uh, to the left here. You can still see, though, just how high the water is on um, the dock. So usually you, you see that whole leg of the dock, and right now um, the water really is going up to the area where you walk across. So uh, definitely the water is high, but it is subsiding. Again, the wind starting to pick up. Last I checked, as I do at the top of every hour, PSCG Long Island has reported no outages in this area of Port Washington. Of course, I can't speak for the rest of Long Island, um, but you can see that the wind and the rain coming down very steadily at this angle right now. But for the most part, uh, so far, so good. Definitely better than expected. We're live in Port Washington. I'm Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News. Lisa. All right. Thanks for that report, Dana. Henri also impacting the rails. Long Island Railroad Service is already suspended between Patchogue and Montauk. Here in the city, transit officials say a plan is in place right now for subways and buses if the conditions become dangerous. Metro North says it will suspend service on the New Haven line, which includes New Canaan and Danbury, depending on conditions. You can follow the latest on RE all day right here on Fox 5 and also on the Fox 5 NY weather app. Let's go back now to our regular programming.